Happy New Year, Shalina. Happy New Year, Shirag. So how's the New Year been treating you so far? Well, in the few days that we've had it, um, marvellous. That's a good start always. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been very good. Yes, I've already had a few clients. It's been busy. Nice. I, find it, I find it interesting that, like, you know, at the end of the day, it's just the week after mm. the week of December, right? It's just the next week. And as, as you try to plan your weeks ahead. But somehow having a good start in the first week of January feels like very empowering compared to the week before. It does, I suppose, because um, we do you, usually during the Christmas New Year period, I'm actually busy because people are at home, so they want to do stuff. Um, but it was quite quiet this year. So it has been nice to, it was nice to relax and actually celebrate Christmas and New Year uh, with friends and family. Um, a lot of people seem to be spurred on this year to declutter and organize their lives. They're kind of at that moment in their lives when they need to sort it out. There's, and that always happens. January, New Year resolutions. Yeah, and I think it's, I mean, we see that with health as well, the same way, right? Like, we're going to start fresh and same thing with the house and everything else. That always happens, yeah. And I mean, I'm not one for New Year's resolutions. I don't, I think it puts too much burden on people, so. So, so. so today we're going to start off and kick off the New Year. And I think we want to just kind of leave people with sort of your top tip that people should remember for the year. Um, I'm, I'm curious as well, like, I mean, you know, what is the one thing maybe you saw in the last year that you feel like people should correct this year? Oh, um, a major thing. It's, it drives me insane. <laughs> it's in every house. Um, people buy things, then they don't take it out of the bags. So whether it's, you know, uh, a pair of shoes, um, medicine from the doctors you know you go to the doctors you go to the pharmacy they give you the prescription drugs they don't take it out of the bags so it just lies there until it goes expires um and, you know kitchen things um you know just random things like oh, it, 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 sunglasses people buy sunglasses and then they don't take them out what's the point of buying sunglasses if you're not going to wear them when the sun is out, obviously today it's not out at all. It's miserable today. But you know what I mean? So, um, and then I end up having to spend, a lot of our time is spent going through bags and then going, oh, that's where it is. So my top tip to everybody listening, when you buy something and you take it home, take it out of the paper bag or the carrot plastic bag. Take it out of the bag. Take it out of the box. Put it in its place and use it don't let it fester and age like fester and age and mature you know these clothes won't mature i think it's interesting also because i don't find myself doing that so much so so when you tell me that like you've seen that a lot of people do this like it's a little surprising but it could also be that i just don't shop that much either so I think it, maybe it's a consequence of that. It, it might be, or it might be just uh, your mentality is the same as mine, that I'm of the view, I bought it for a reason. Like, I, I, I want to use it. Like, you know, I, I bought something online and it arrived yesterday. I took it out of the box and it's out. And uh, one was a change jar to put change because I'm doing that saving for 365 days um, challenge. And so I wanted them. I never, I haven't had a money box since I was a kid. So I was like, well, I'm going to get a change jar and put it in there. And I did it and I used it and I've put money in it. I'm already using it. It's already out of the box. So I think our mentality is different. You buy things. So you buy all this equipment for podcasting and you tell me about it. You take it immediately out of the box, right? Yeah, and I think it's uh, maybe as you mentioned, like I think it's because I'm I'm just not uh, an avid shopper in that way. Like I'm I'm buying, especially considering like I've been try I've I've been trying very hard, especially last year, to be very careful and considerate about what I'm buying. Um, and of course, you know, we talked about it over the summer as well. I did the massive decluttering and stuff. So any additions, even clothes-wise and stuff, I'm only doing it when I need something. So that could be another reason as well. There's it's, it's a need-based purchase, which means automatically I I land up taking it out of the box because or the bag because I just need to. Eat. Because I just need to use it right away. But even people like the clients who have it, you know, they they buy stuff because they need it, they want it. You know, um, they'll buy tech. You know, they'll buy things. You know, the uh, you know the guys, the gentlemen who clients um, or husbands will buy things. You know, that lots of them like gaming, so they'll buy things for gaming. But then they don't take them out, and then they go buy something else which is similar to what they have in the box, which they haven't taken out, but they forgot they bought it because it's still in the bag or in the box. So that's the thing. If you don't know what's in the bags, you might, you end up buying the same things or it goes off. 
Um, I mean, even for food, I've seen it for food. People buy, or you know, the, their staff will buy f- food, and then they won't take it out of the bags. So then they go buy more because they think they don't have it. And um, and it's an, it, it is a big thing. I don't know whether it's just because I'm going to clients who need help with decluttering and organising, so that might be why there's it's. Um, What's the word? It's yeah, like, you'd see it more than the rest of us would, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's something that needs to be looked at. And I think with a lot of clients, the ones where there's been a huge amount of bags is because they didn't know where to put it. And then it's just become overwhelming with the bags and with the stuff that they have. So which, then is where the, need... which is where the buy one, get rid of two thing comes yeah. in as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else you want to leave like listeners with? For the for the coming year and in when they get to st- when they start decluttering um, and and what they should think about. I think a big thing is to f- let go of the fads. So we've seen the, you know, we've seen the Marie Kondo thing, right? And I mean, it's been going on for years. She's her book came out when I started in 2013. So it's not, it's 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 gone on. For, so it's, uh, but it seems to. Have yeah, but she had a lot of. I mean, obviously there was the show and then. Uh, she opened her store <laughs> later in the year. Yeah. And, um, I know you have quite a few thoughts about that too, but, but I mean, but yeah. that's one of those things. I think, I think that's why like it's, it's been a high topic of conversation oh, yeah. um, you it, know, during the last year. It's been, and it's, it's, it's a double-edged sword. And we've talked about Marie Kondo before that, you know, after the show came up that it, it, it's been a help and a hindrance for professional organizers globally. But yeah, so because of her having so much exposure and people following her so much, she then had this shop and people were like, well, we're going to declutter everything and I'm going to buy all her stuff. You don't need that stuff. Like, okay, some of it's nice. It, you know, I, I did go on the shop and I looked at some of the things and went, they're nice. And, you know, one or two things might be useful in the house. But I think, what was it, the crystal? The, there, was a, there was a tongs thing as well. Oh, yeah, the crystal and the tongs, yeah. Um, you know, and, and cult it culturally it does work for some people and some people are into that spirituality and I have uh friends who are into um that kind of healing and cleansing of rooms and they've been doing it for years. So that's fine. But when you're doing it just because a celebrity is telling you to buy it and it's seventy dollars or whatever, a ridiculous amount of money, then that's crazy. You know. Um and it's not just my condo, there's these influencers and celebrities who are promoting um, items, whether it's cosmetics, um, water, <laughs> like you know, um, and people follow the fads, and it, it does build up the clutter. Uh, I think there has to be more of a, uh, you know, and I'm not saying that everybody follows like sheep, but there is a, I do see a lot of people buying a lot of these items just because they've seen a celebrity or an influencer promoting them. So I think there needs to be a bit more of a conscious thought about that. Do you really need it in your house? Is it really, you know, do you really believe it's going to save your life in some way or another? I think everybody's trying to work really hard towards putting in principles of what it is that they want to establish in terms of their decluttering process, yeah. right? So, um, I mean, we've talked about, of course, buy one, get rid of two or file act and toss and other such principles that you've been sharing but whatever system that you've put in place and stuff like don't just start, you know you've worked all year long on it and don't abandon it or yeah. seeing a post or, or something that's I'm, I'm not saying that every every celebrity is giving wrong advice because that's we can't no, generalize it, that either no. but it's just like you know at least think about the fact that does it fit into the principles you're establishing or is it kind of like a deviation and then just don't let go of that because that it's very it's it takes so long to build a habit but exactly. it's so quick to break one especially you know when you haven't been doing it for that long so yeah yeah exactly um and i think more people are more conscious especially in this kind of the economic climate that we're living in right now there is more thought about saving and buying things that you really need and just building up on that habit more you know um you know even whether it's with presents for people and you know another thing I've seen people buying presents for friends and family when they go on holiday and like random, like magnets and um, blankets and uh, food or cosmetics from Korea. That seems to be a big thing. Mothers go to Korea and then buy not one item, but 10 same, 10 of the same items, even though they haven't tested it out and then they give it to everybody. That person might not want it. Like don't waste your money buying things for people and don't impose your 
presence on people because then they don't know what to do with it because they feel bad that you've bought, spent money on them but they don't really want it. So I would say spend that money on yourself on your holiday. Um, eat nice food and have experiences. Talk about them. Take pictures. Put it on Instagram or on Facebook but don't impose your stuff on your relatives or your friends. Now into the third tip. <laughs> so there's another tip. So that that's been another big thing I've seen. And 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 clients genuinely are don't know what to do with it and they're like embarrassed. You know, they're like I have no interest in this. I don't want this. What am I supposed to do with this? Well, it's come from someone that they care about. Yeah. And it's like magnet. I mean, I collect magnets. Uh, everywhere I go on holiday, I get magnets. And I've had from two people magnets as a present for countries. And it, it's on the side of my fridge because I never went there. It has nothing, no memory for me. Um, I would rather go to that country and buy the magnet myself. You know what I mean? Um, and it's the same for most people. They want to go there and experience themselves. So, yeah. All right, so that's what we wanted to kind of leave you with at the start of the year, something to think about based on what Shalene has been seeing over the last year um, and to get, you know, your decluttering process started and, and continuing. And continuing, And not. continuing, importantly. Yes. Um, to 2020. Exactly. Very cool. So, as always, you know, if you want to, you want to get in touch with Shalina to kick off your decluttering year, um, you can do that uh, on social media. So find her on Instagram or Facebook by looking for Declutter Me. So that's D-E-C-L-U-T-T-R-M-E. Uh, you can also visit the website declutterme.com and fill out the contact form there. And you can also click on podcast and see all of our episodes, subscribe directly from there as well, or listen to the episodes there. Um, and we'll be back next week. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year, Shirak. <laughs> In context, it's <laughs> taken five minutes to build up to this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, Shrek, seriously. It's a new it's decade like a, as well. Is, <laughs> okay, sorry. Stop laughing. Stop laughing. Be serious. This is a serious podcast about serious things. <laughs> and we're going to basically bitch about my condo now for 10 minutes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're, 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 yeah, no. <laughs> okay, start again. <laughs>